Hello, Super Mobile fans. Happy day to you all. Thanks for your continuous support for this channel. You keep encouraging me to create more videos. Thanks so much. Kindly wash your hands and stay safe. The Camo 15 and Camo 12 Pro are two amazing budget smartphones from Techno that are known for their good camera performance and elegant, colorful design. I am comparing the Camo 15 with the Camo 12 Pro instead of the Camo 12 because of the important camera, battery, and software upgrades in the Camo 15, which makes it to be in the same 70,000 naira price range with the Camo 12 Pro, thereby making it quite difficult and confusing when considering which to buy especially if you don't mind the latest Android 10 and new iOS 6 upgrades in the Camo 15. In this video, I will be assisting you in making the right buying decision based on my experience with both smartphones. So kindly sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Starting with the display, this is where most of you will be making your purchasing decision because of the colorful AMOLED display in the Camo 12 Pro, which is much better than the LCD display in the Camo 15 especially when they both have same HD plus 720p screen resolution. Techno's LCD display quality is very okay with deeper whites, good viewing angles and decent color production, but it still cannot compete with the deeper blacks and vibrant colors of the AMOLED display. They both have similar visibility level under the sunlight, but the AMOLED display is slightly brighter, which makes it more visible. The Camo 15 has a slightly bigger 6.6 inches display compared with the 6.4 inches display in the Camo 12 Pro. But looking at both displays, there's no much reason to make a purchasing decision based on the small 0.2 inches difference in display size. Also, I like the punch hole notch better than the water drop notch because the punch hole hides at the left corner, which gives a better sense of full screen estate. The Camo 12 Pro wins in the display department by a big margin. Another major decider is the futuristic under-display fingerprint sensor in the Camo 12 Pro, which is surprisingly fast and accurate. The old rear fingerprint sensor in the Camo 15 is also fast, but the in-display fingerprint technology is very cool and dope. I hope Techno brings back this technology in the next Camo. They also both have fast face unlock speed with a wider sensitivity area which also works accurately in day and night. The Camo 12 Pro wins in the futuristic security department. Secondly, the processor. The Camo 15 and Camo 12 Pro both have the same 12 nanometer Helio P22 octa-core processor, clocked at 2.0 GHz. This means that they should have similar performance, but there will be a notable difference in multitasking because of the 4GB RAM in the Camo 15 and the larger 6GB RAM in the Camo 12 Pro. Kindly note that 4GB RAM size is more than enough for most users. You only need 6GB RAM size if you are a very heavy user that wants to run and switch between two or more heavy hubs, like high graphics games in the background without reloading. 6GB RAM size is also good for future proofing. As you can see, my daily usage with both smartphones are smooth responsive and few lags once in a while. For those of you interested, here are some speed tests to show how both smartphones manages the RAM. You will notice the Camo 15 having a higher app loading speed despite its smaller 4GB RAM size. The scores went up for that till 5 to 1. But because of the higher 6 GB RAM size, the Camo 12 Pro has more RAM space power left, which made it to start to catch up as more apps are added to the background. And the score ended at 5 to 4 would have continued but the maximum background apps is 9. While leaving the apps in the background, I decided to wait for 5 minutes to do a stress test on the RAM management retentive memory. Both smartphones retained 2 apps in the background, but the 6GB RAM Camo 12 Pro did it like a pro, while the 4GB RAM Camo 15 managed with a little refresh. No gaming apps were retained. 
Based on the overall results, I would say that the Helio P22 in the Camo 15 is quite faster than the Helio P22 in the Camo 12 Pro. This was also confirmed with the Geekbench 5 scores and Antutu Benchmark 8 scores, with the Camo 15 having a much better gaming score. So we can silently say that Techno upgraded the specifications of the Helio P22 in the Camo 15. As far as gaming is concerned, they both have similar performance due to their similar gaming Power VR GE 8320 GPU. Here's my game test comparison with Alpha 9. Both game plays the same performance as expected. The higher 6 GB RAM in the Camo 12 Pro does not make any significant difference, except that there is more RAM space left to keep some apps in the background while gaming. The Camo 15 will have to close some apps in the background to give more room for the RAM demanding Alpha 9 game. As expected, there was no eating issue as it just felt warm to the touch. Overall, the Camo 15 and the Camo 12 Pro are not gaming smartphones, but they still manage to give you a good gaming experience if you are willing to settle for low or medium graphics settings, which is okay. There is no easy winner here. I like the improvements Techno made to speed up the Camo 15, but the Camo 12 Pro is slightly better at multitasking because of its higher 6GB RAM. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thirdly, the cameras. The major difference between both smartphones are the rear cameras, where most of the upgrades were done. The Camo 12 Pro has a complete triple rear camera setup, while the Camo 15 has a quad camera setup with no ultra wide angle lens. The camera user interface are similar except for the inclusion of the 48 megapixel ultra clear mode and the super night mode in the Camo 15. Photos appear raw and more true to life in the Camo 15 while the Camo 12 Pro overexposes and oversaturates the colors, making images look less natural. Both of them do a good job in blurring the background in the bokeh mode, but the Camo 15 amazingly keeps all details and colors looking natural, while the Camo 12 Pro adds a reddish tone to the color which makes it look unnatural. Of course, the Camo 15 gives you an additional advantage with its 48 megapixel ultra clear mode, in which you can zoom in further without losing details on time. Just make sure that you keep your hands steady when you are using the 48 megapixel mode for better results. Macro shots are also okay, but to get better details and more natural colors with the Camo 15 2 megapixel macro lens, thanks to the super macro technology, as opposed to the washed out or oversaturated details in the Camo 12 Pro, despite its higher 8 megapixel macro lens. This is a big improvement in camera software. Low light images are also good on both smartphones, but the Camo 15 is better looking, with good exposure even when you use the camera flashes. The Camo 15 gives you another additional advantage with its super night mode. The Camo 12 Pro could not handle lower light conditions. It is nice that Techno is stepping up their camera game. We'd we'll love to see what Techno will do in the next Camo smartphone. The 16 megapixel punch hole selfie camera at the Camo 15 surprisingly looks better than the larger 32 megapixel water drop AI selfie camera in the Camo 12 Pro. But if you zoom in, the Camo 12 Pro has more details thanks to its higher 32 megapixel. The Camo 15 keeps more raw details and has natural colors while the Camo 12 Pro selfie images looks washed out, oversaturated and unnatural. Video quality on both smartphones looks good with the Camo 15 giving out natural colors while the Camo 12 Pro giving out oversaturated colors. Stabilization is also good on both phones, but the Camo 15 is more stable. The front camera on the other hand is also okay. Here's a front camera video sample. Hello some of my fans. Thanks so much for watching this video. Here is the front camera video test of the Camo 12 Pro and the Camo 15. Let me know what you guys think about the quality of the video and also of the audio. Thanks to the 32 megapixel, the Camo 12 Pro has sharper details, but the natural color production and the good exposure on the Camo 15 makes it better. Kindly comment below your thoughts. Overall, I am really amazed with the improvement that Techno have done with their camera software performance. Clear all details, good exposure, skin tone and colors look more natural and true to life. Nice job Techno. The Camo 15 wins in the camera department by a big margin.
Fourthly, the battery. Most people were disappointed with Techno when the Camon 12 Pro launched with a 3500 mAh battery. But after my testing, I was surprised that it had up to 8 hours screen on time while browsing extensively with 4G data always on at minimum screen brightness. The AMOLED display also contributed to the Camon 12 Pro battery life. Well, this time, Techno has put a bigger 5000 mAh battery size into the Camon 15. And from my testing, it gave me about 11 hours screen on time while also browsing extensively with 4G data always on at minimum screen brightness. Could have been up to 13 hours screen on time under same conditions if the Camon 15 had an AMOLED display. The AMOLED display also has lower or dimmer brightness level, which makes it consume less battery and also more comfortable to the highs in the dark. They both have a 10W micro USB charging speed with the Camon 12 Pro taking about 3 hours to fill up while the Camon 15 takes about 4 hours to fully charge. They also both have cool charging animations but I prefer the one in the Camon 12 Pro. The Camon 15 wins in the battery department by a big margin. Fifthly, the design. It's no doubt that Techno has been dishing out smartphones with elegant designs and gradient colors. I prefer the design and reflective color of the Camon 12 Pro. Also, the bigger battery in the Camon 15 makes it quite bulky to handle, whereas the Camon 12 Pro feels so lightweight that it always gives me a good relief whenever I switch to heat after gymming with the Camon 15. Just kidding, it's not that heavy, but the price to pay for its 5000 mAh battery. With the Android 10 and iOS 6 combo in the Camon 15, you get to enjoy the system-wide dark mode new gesture navigation as well as the cool new game mode functions. You can check out my Command 15 review video to find out more. Link in the description below. Finally, I believe that the prices Techno is offering for both smartphones are fair, considering the current global economic crisis. Based on the elaborate points I have mentioned, are you willing to embrace the AMOLED display and under display fingerprints of the Command 12 Pro? or settle for the 5000 mAh battery and better cameras of the Common 15? Let me know what your final choice will be and the reasons for choosing either smartphones in the comment section below. I have mixed feelings on which to choose as my daily driver because I love the AMOLED display and the under display fingerprint sensor of the Common 12 Pro. But the 5000 mAh battery and the better camera performance of the Common 15 is really tempting. If I should pick a winner, I will gladly choose the Common 15. Thanks so much for watching. Kindly subscribe and turn post notification on to be the first to see the next video. Talk to you in my next video. Remain humble. Stay safe. Bye.